Well, caravan running had been going for some little while um, in, in the late 50s, 60s. And then a friend of mine who family had a caravan business, a, a small dealership, uh, he was a rally driver and I did some navigation. So we decided that we'd have a little go together. And uh, we found the oldest caravan on the pitch and decided that we'd take that out and did quite well with it. Uh, there was a, a regular group of people, but m some of them supported by the, the manufacturers uh, who would see it as a means of really proving their equipment to be better than other people's. We would then turn up to do a competitive part of the rally. There would be track tests where manoeuvring in and out of cones and so forth. And then of an evening there'd be a night section where we'd be driving down country lanes. In the early days the navigation was thought to be the more difficult part of it and it was nothing out of the ordinary to find maybe two or three caravan outfits in the farmyard. They then realised that this was possibly quite dangerous. For the international caravan running, they employed two professional co-drivers. In, in the very early days, there were people, that, as we did, started with our, our own caravan, our own car, but then want to compete, one had to get something a little bit better. And after the one international caravan rally where Ford had built a car and caravan for Roger Clark to use, I literally rang Peter Ashcroft, who was their competitions director, and then I said, well, may we borrow it for the rest of the season? And he said, I don't see any reason why not. They gave me £3,600. We bought a, a second-hand car, a new caravan, and ran it for the whole of the year. Myself and, a, and the driver was a, was a guy called Peter Rowley, whose family owned Cosford Caravans. It, this was just a, something that I did. In moments of idleness, we'd ring these people up and ask if they were sponsors. It, it was a sprite sprint. We wanted something as light as possible with the Capri uh, pulling it. The Capri was awfully quick and down country lanes, we could see a genuine speed over 100 miles an hour. It had to be in touring spec, the, the regulations call for, but we had plastic cutlery, polystyrene cups and paper plates. So, I mean, so we had an awful lot of fun. Caravan running uh, as was will never come back. I, I think first of all, you have to imagine maybe 60 cars and caravans thrashing down country lanes in the middle of Wales. It, 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 it would never happen again, unfortunately. We, we bought the caravan uh, at the beginning of last year and not, I hadn't driven forward with the caravan for, I don't know, 30 odd years, 40 years maybe. And my wife was awfully nervous. We've got a, a Jaguar X-Type that I take with. Nevertheless, I was driving it quite carefully, not as stupidly as we did in the day when we're young and foolish. Thank you.